Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks, and this is the Nokia Lumia 520. Nah, I'm kidding. Now, this is actually not about the 520, but it's about a model that is basically, technically, kind of the same. It's using the same platform, but it's using a totally different operating system. And that's the one we're talking about. It's the Nokia X. Uh, the Nokia X is basically Nokia's first Android smartphone, it, so it actually happened, and they released an Android smartphone. It just came out in a bunch of Asian countries, and it's available in Poland, where we have got this one from, uh, since last week. It's not selling in Germany, because Nokia hasn't decided if they actually want to sell this in Germany. And I'm thinking they might not, but there's a couple of dealers who have started importing this. Um, so if you're into this, and from Western Europe, you might look to Germany. There's a bunch of retailers over here selling it. or in all the other countries you have to go to Asia or for example Poland like we did so we paid a bit more for this but normally it retails for $99 without taxes in our case we paid close to 140 euros but that's because of shipping and stuff from Poland as I said in Germany it's supposed to be coming out and as the retailers are saying retailing for 120 euros but let's start unboxing this so I'm going to put the 520 aside I'm going to show you a comparison of these two devices in another video so the Nokia X basically comes in the same styled Nokia packaging that we know from other devices except even on the packaging they're trying to save some money while the box of the 520 is pretty sturdy and stuff this one is kind of flimsy and it's using thin papers um, but that doesn't matter because let's get the device out of its box and as you can see we have the red version here so we decided to get a red one because black is kind of boring green is too androidy well yellow is too bright so that's why we have the blue model and that were the four colors that Nokia is selling this in um, as you can see right here this is supposed to be my fast lane to Android apps so they have their own Android app store on here they're not using the official Google Play Store um, I don't know if that can actually be installed but we'll see about that later when I get some hands-on time with the device itself uh, let's get it out of its box first put that to the side and dive deeper into the box for now so as I was talking about cheaper materials on the box on the packaging already but that shouldn't bother us because the device is still of a good quality which I'm going to show you in a second so this is my Polish warranty card it's probably not going to help me anything in Europe or you know, not Europe I'm sorry in Germany and here we have the manual for the device, again, Polish only. But I guess I'm going to try and find my way around the system by myself because I'm not really able to speak Polish. Uh, this is the standard Euro micro USB power supply from Nokia. It only has a charging power of 750 milliamps, so that might take a bit longer to charge the device, but I'm going to check out if this. Uh, if the phone actually can be charged with uh, two amp supplies, for example, from Samsung or other companies. Um, one thing to note is you can't remove the cable on here, so if that breaks, you have to get another charger or use a different charger. But at least Nokia is including a charger, which Motorola is not doing, at least not in Germany, for the Moto G. But here we have a cheap, very cheap, and plasticky, but in the same color as the handset itself. That's a headset, so you get no in-ear plugs or anything. It's just those basic standard uh, headphones. And <clears throat> back here we have the battery. So this is just a small 1500 milliampere hour uh, battery, 5.55 watt hours, as you can see. And this already goes to show that the battery can be exchanged on the Nokia X. Let me get it out of its fall so I can prop in the battery but let's talk about the device itself first I'm gonna rip off this foil which actually reveals another cover foil so this is the tip where I can rip, rip that off but I'm gonna leave that on for a while just to see, see how it wears since there's no bubbles underneath it it's probably gonna protect the screen for, for a bit at least um, on the front of the device you get pretty much nothing except for a light sensor up here so there's no camera on the front only the back button down here so with this you can move out of the apps but there's no standard Android buttons on here and the device comes in this screaming red color which kind of drifts towards pink but that's totally fine it has this matte finish and it feels pretty good it's really sturdy for a device that is supposed to be selling at these low price points 
Back here we have a 3 megapixel camera, so that's another difference to the Lumia 520, which actually has a 5 megapixel camera. We'll see about the resolution of this and the quality of the pictures later on. Down here we have a small speaker, which is actually pretty loud, as I figured out earlier. And on the sides we have the power button and the volume rocker. That's pretty much it. And on top, not to forget about it, is the 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Now let me try and open this thing and try to figure out how to get the battery and the sims in there. Yep, that worked pretty easy actually. And here we go, that's the inside of the Nokia X. And as you can set, tell from this right here, if you haven't read it on the packaging, packaging already, we have two SIM card slots. So the first SIM card slot is actually capable of uh, UMTS or uh, 3G internet plus GSM, that's for sure, and micro SD card slot and another secondary SIM card slot, which is only 2G capable. Uh, under the hood in here we have a 1 gigahertz dual core Qualcomm Snapdragon S4, which is actually a 1 gigahertz chip that's running, uh, that is, uh, the model number is MSM8225. And I'm just going to prop this back on. There's 512 megabytes of RAM only in here and 4 gigs of flash storage, but that can be easily extended through the uh, micro SD slot, as I just showed you. Let's turn it on and see how fast it boots. It's probably going to take a while. I tried it earlier and took just about a minute. Um, so what Nokia is doing here is basically they're trying to push people towards the uh, Microsoft services. So there's pretty much no Google on here except for the operating system. And that even is an AOSP build, so it's not officially authorized by Android. They haven't got a certification or whatever, but they don't need that because they have their own store, as I said. There you go. That's the pretty loud speaker. And they have actually modified the interface too, so you get kind of a Windows phony uh, look with live tiles or kind of live tiles. And yeah, but you'll still be able to run most of the Android apps available. Let's go and continue. Yep, and it's guiding me through the interface right now. Just, just going to skip that. And as they told me right there, I can actually swipe down to open a search bar. And here goes the interface. So that's what it looks like. Up here you can see the two SIM card slots and their standby mode. And right now they're not available since I don't have any SIM cards inserted. Other than that, it's a, it's a pretty special uh, design on here. They're calling this the Nokia X software platform, and if you look into the settings menu, for example, you won't find any information about that this is actually running Android. Let me see on here. Let's open that, and there you go. That says just software version something, and down here it says Nokia X software platform 1.0. All right, so this has been my quick and dirty unboxing of the Nokia X, Nokia's first Android smartphone. See you later. Bye.